one big thing. Filled out my bracket for the ESPN Tournament Challenge. By all means, join our show group. Compete with us at the SVP show. I had a really good bracket last year, which I think is the first time ever since I've been in the business that that has happened for me. So this year undoubtedly will stink. We've covered this last year on the topic of brackets. Nobody cares about yours. I don't anyway. And I know you don't care about mine unless I picked an upset against your team, in which case you will heckle me when I'm wrong. And by all means, go right ahead. But about the bracket itself right here, the most copied piece of paper in American sports, even in a day and age when we do everything digitally, there is still a place for the hard copy of the actual bracket, the document, the answer key. Now, if you were just to Google NCAA bracket, the first result you'll get is the official NCAA.com interactive bracket. If you click the printable bracket, at the very bottom you see a little logo which reads, don't bet on it. Now, if the NCAA wants to insist we call the players student athletes, whatever. The overwhelming majority of them are, but we all know that a handful of the very best players are actually in classes for all of a semester. Still, if it makes you feel better, student athletes, fine. But to put don't bet on it on the bracket, which exists almost exclusively so that people can bet on it, is just ridiculous. If it's five bucks at the office or big money on Wall Street or wherever, everyone is betting to some degree on the bracket. According to David Purdom's article on ESPN.com, 70 million brackets will be filled out with an average entry fee of almost 30 bucks. In total, the estimate is that 10.6 billion, with a B, dollars will be bet on the NCAA tournament, almost all of it illegally. Largely, though, the bracket pools that you're almost certainly involved in are the equivalent of driving 56 in a 55, a crime that's never, ever going to be enforced or policed. Everyone's filling out a bracket. Putting don't bet on it makes as much sense as putting that at the bottom of a scratch off lottery ticket because there's only one reason that you're you're making a copy of this. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel so you'll always stay up to date on all things SVP, which sounds awesome. You don't want to miss out.